the Henry Color Case Harden 357 Magnum. Let's check it out. Henry Repeating Arms started out making just lever action 22s, uh, and they were really high quality. Uh, and then from that time, they began to expand into a lot of different rifle calibers and also pistol calibers. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at their 357 model. But one of the big things about the Henry lever actions is they are so smooth. Now, this rifle has been safety checked, but you can see it's just a really smooth action. But today we're going to take a look at the color cased hardened Henry. They started out making the 4570 and the 3030, and they were so popular, and there were so many requests for the pistol calibers, whether it was 357 Magnum and 38, or 44 Magnum and 44 Special, and then also 44 Colt. And so those are three extremely popular calibers, and of course, for a lever action gun like this, it makes it great if you have like a 357 or a 44 Magnum on your hip and you have this one in your saddle scabbard. Now the quality of the Henry is always just top notch, uh, but with this color cased hardened, I mean it just really gives it that old west feel. Now originally these were made in brass uh, back in the 1800s. Uh, this is an all steel frame which actually makes it lighter and stronger. This large lever is on their 16 and a half inch model. They do make a 20 inch model as well, and then it has just the standard loop. This is great for gloved hands and to be able to get this really quick. These are very fast shooting rifles. Now one of the things you're going to notice though is there's no side loading gate. And that's one of the things that Henry does. Everything is tube fed. There are a lot of people that prefer the side loading gate. But honestly, sometimes it's really difficult to get those rounds in. And with the tube fed, which right here we have our tube, which a lot of 22 long rifles started out. But it just pulls open and it's a really beautiful brass tube. Uh, and it's very smooth, functioning in and out. Right here is your loading gate. You just drop them in one at a time. The 20 inch holds 10 rounds and the 16 and a half inch barrel holds seven rounds. And that goes for the 44 and 45 models as well. And once you're done, take it, pop it into place, and you're ready to go. Now you'll notice this octagon barrel. And man, it is just beautiful. This really holds to the lines of your old western style firearms. Uh, and of course, in a lot of their models, they do have the standard round barrel, but I love this octagon barrel. They also use American Walnut for their stocks. And on these models, they do have it just straight without the pistol grip but the checkering on here is just well executed. Uh, you know, one of the things about Henry is they say that made in America are not made at all. And they're really good about sourcing out, you know, even their, their wood for their stocks, of course, all the metal. And then these are assembled right there at Henry. They also offer a rubber butt pad, which just makes it nice. Now with this 357 Magnum and the 44 or the 45 Colt, I mean, it is a really soft shooting gun. The hammer, really easy to bring back. The trigger pull is really crisp. Um, it is drilled and tapped on the top for a scope mount. And so that makes it great if you want to put a scope on here. Now for me, with this traditional octagon barrel of the case hardened, it would almost be sacrilege to put a scope on this rifle. You have semi buckhorn sights and it does have a small diamond here. These are adjustable. Then here at the front you have a brass bead which shows up very well. We have studs for sling swivels here on the stock and right here at the front of the forearm. I'll tell you guys, the bluing on this rifle is just beautiful. And then of course, then you come in with the case hardened uh, steel 
It's just a really smooth, beautiful rifle. When I first received this, guys, I'm telling you, I have been dying to get it out to the range. And uh, I knew that it would be a super soft shooting gun. And guys, I'm telling you, it was so easy to shoot. So smooth. Now, I really wanted the 16-inch barrel because it makes it so handy and lightweight. But if you want to get a little more accuracy, a little more velocity for your rounds, you can go with a 20-inch barrel. Uh, but I think that um, this is like the perfect size for one of those lever action rifles. I mean, it makes you just remember those old John Wayne movies. And of course, seven rounds gives you pretty decent capability. Uh, but then of course, with the 20 inch, you get 10 rounds. So it gives you just a little extra. These are really fast to shoot and really not that difficult to load and unload. One of the things that I love about the tube fed is that if I want to unload the rifle, all I have to do is pop this open and drop my rounds out. You know, if you have your standard side loading gate to empty the uh, tube, you have to actually work the action, which can be somewhat dangerous. Now this does have a transfer bar here at the back. And so the trigger is what actuates it. So if this happens to fall on the hammer, it's not gonna fire. I wanna thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo. All made in the USA. Good clean stuff. Now we took it out to the range, smooth action. I mean, it was just a lot of fun. One thing you wanna be careful of though, especially with you know pistol caliber carbines, is that when you're racking it, you wanna give it a full rack out. If not, you can have some short strokes. And so you just wanna be careful when you're doing that. Just make sure it's very solid and very smooth follow through. Sarah Mack and Seth went with me and uh, you know, they love shooting this rifle. It's so easy. The recoil is so light and that lightweight and that 16 inch barrel made it so easy to shoot. One thing about a lever action is it is so fast to shoot. And guys, if you live in a state that's restricted, especially magazine capacity or even semi-automatics, uh, this is a great choice for you know self-defense, for home defense. Especially if you put in some really good hot 357 Magnum loads or 44 Magnum loads, this would make an excellent home defense firearm. Now the retail price on this rifle runs $1,045, which is pretty steep but it's definitely a high quality rifle. Uh, I think it was Big Daddy Unlimited. I saw it for $753.99. So you get a really good discount. And check out Big Daddy Guns. That's a great source if you uh, are in the market for different firearms. So whether you're looking for a hunting rifle, uh, you just like to take a, a lever action out to the range, or you just love that old Western style firearm. Uh, the Henry Big Boy in 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, or 45 long Colt is just a great option. So soft shooting. And if you want to step it up, you can always go to the 4570 or the 3030. And I want to thank Henry for sending the big boy color case hardened 357 Magnum. This was a lot of fun and something I'm afraid I'm gonna have to add to my collection. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. which is important. Okay. And when in hush, and especially with those shorter those shorter Oh, you can stay right there. Cut. Cut. Yeah. I'll take my no my usual rate.